Hi Taurus, welcome to your end of February general forecast. This is Mary, this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Taurus, we're going to look at the energies around you for the end of February. It may be about love, may not be. So whatever comes out, we're just going to take here. And I just want to apologize for all the readings being late for the end of the month. I've been very sick for the past week with the flu. So it knocked me out for one entire week. I couldn't even go to my full-time job. So I'm feeling a little better today. So if I cough periodically through this reading, please um, bring in me and bear with me as I go through this. So let's see what's going on for you, Taurus. Welcome in. Please only take what resonates. Throw away the rest. Don't try to make it fit. If you don't, if you feel like it's not fitting for you, it could be past, present, or future um, energy also. So we'll see what's going on for you at this time. I do say at this time, I do consider all my readings timeless. So if you'd like to go back and watch past readings, links are below in the description box for your playlist to your love in general. So if you'd like to check that out, as well as the decks I'm using, social media links, how to reach out for personal reading. If you'd like to send a gift, tip, donate, all that information is in the description box. And I will also pin some of that info to the top comment in the comment section. So let's see. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. All right. Male, female, doesn't matter. Taurus. Let's see. This is a Zodiac Oracle, so we get a sign, element, or planet. If you don't um, resonate with whatever comes out here, totally fine. We have Pluto. So I do believe Pluto is Scorpio. Yep. So you could be dealing with the Scorpio. Get a Scorpio in your chart. Somebody could have Scorpio in their chart. Could be a family member, a friend, coworker, lover, anybody here. But Pluto here is the energy of all the basics of life. Life, death, rebirth, um, sex, power, control, all those basic, basic human things. So let's see how that plays into your reading. So first thing I'm going to do here, Taurus, is get an opening message for you. View Taurus. Let's see what's going on for you. Hope everybody's doing well. And if uh, you have noticed, we just reached 10,000 subscribers, so a little over a week ago. And I did make a post in the community section. I am planning to do a deck giveaway as well as a free reading along with that. So um, haven't been able to do that yet as I've been sick. I'm trying to catch up on readings, personal readings, as well as returning to my full-time job tomorrow. So as soon as I get the opportunity, I probably will make a video or something uh, pertaining to that. So keep a lookout for that. All right. And just a quick shout out and thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you. Thank you. Those who reached out for personal reading, those tip, donate, sent a gift. Thank you. Thank you so much for all your support. <coughs> so what do we have here? We have cleansing frog 29, which is... 11 and 11 is about being on the right spiritual path going in the right direction so cleansing you could be cleansing your body your mind your soul you could be cleansing people places and things that are no longer serving you you could be cleaning up your house and get ridding, getting rid of clutter things like that so and i feel like whatever you're cleansing whatever you're doing um is probably pushing you in the right direction in life. Your life could be getting better. You could be feeling better. Um, you could be feel like you're going through a rebirth. And I just noticed Taurus or two, Pluto is 22. If you add 29 is 11, that's two. So two may be a significant number for you. A two is all about unity. So you could be like aligning with you, yourself, your spirituality, who you are, what you need to do in your life, the right path you need to go down. And if you add two, four, six, eight, that is about taking action. So finally taking action and cleansing. You could be cleansing and purging things right now, no longer serving you. All right, so let's get an opening message here. So wow, I just got this for Pisces. So woman's wisdom, platypus 24, which is six. I think it's like you now have that like divine inner wisdom. I feel like if you've, I'm getting a completely different message than I did for Pisces. So you may be somebody that's always looked up for, looked up to other people for advice, um, encouragement, and things like that. But now it's like you're trusting your own divine inner uh, wisdom. I mean, you can be male, female, doesn't matter. But um, it's like now you're just trusting your own inner wisdom. 
and no longer needing to depend on others to help you, guide you, advice. Doesn't mean you never ask, but it's like you're more trusting from within, from your own um, intuition and higher knowing. Wow. So let's see what's on. Feeling more balanced. 24 to 6 is all about balance. Healing, balanced energy. So now we have here snake transmutation. We have 14, which is 5, which is about change. So I think you're going through really big change right now. It's like you're transforming, transmutation. You're getting a, rid of all that snake energy in your life. If you have people around you that's been snakes, whatever, slithering around you, I feel like you're now trusting your inner wisdom. You're getting rid, rid of all that sneaky, slithering energy around you. Um kind of energy and it's like you're transmuting that energy into like a higher energy and just knowing what you're doing is the right thing I'm getting like transforming and transmutation because you know snakes shed their skin so it's like just shedding your skin and becoming like a whole new person wow Taurus all right let's see what's going on for you Taurus Get some clarifiers for you, Taurus. Clarify this energy. What's going on with Taurus at this time, Spirit, please? Okay, these two. Knight of Pentacles. So it could be a very slow process here. You know, the knight moves very, very slow. That's your energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. <coughs> so this could be something that you know you've had to take action on for a very long time. Maybe it's take taking you a long time to finally take action in the right direction of trusting your inner wisdom, finally cleansing yourself of the things in your life no longer serving you. Page of Swords. So yeah, being open, honest, truthful now. Again, with the sword energy, cutting away things no longer serving you and communicating that with honesty and using that sword to stand up for yourself, not backing down, not taking BS. Kind of energy telling it like it is wow good for you taurus all right so let's see let's see it's like look how big eyes are i feel your eyes are finally open now to like all that energy around you it's like yep got my sword here and my pentacle i know my worth and i'm stable it's a slow work in progress but i'm getting there and i'm using that sword Five of Pentacles, you know, feeling abandoned, lonely, left out in the cold, neglect, lacked. Maybe you've had not so trustworthy people around you that made you feel in this energy. They could have took from you, taken your energy, your time, um, your sanity. It could, take, could have even taken money from you, from some of you. All right, so let's see. The Emperor, again, taking Emperor, Empress doesn't matter. Taking lead, taking control, now take charge of your life. No longer will you feel in that energy of, you know, lack all the time. Maybe you just give, give, give to everybody and you let people kind of like walk all over you. But it's like, nope, no more of that with the Five of Swords energy. I'm doing what's best for me now and I just don't care anymore. I'm using that sword, doing what's best for me, turning my back on the people I need to. And I'm just doing what I need to do with the Five of Swords energy. It's like you come to a point where it's like I just don't care I have to think of me now and I'm not getting like a selfish ego kind of energy I'm getting finally knowing what you need to do and just doing it and not really caring about the consequences whatever happens happens three cups so yeah feeling much more happier and content now you know you're only spending your time with the people that bring you happiness and joy kind of energy so you're downsizing from five, five to three. So you're definitely cutting things out going from five to three. So you're only going to, you're only going to share your cups to the people that deserve it, that stick by you, that bring you happiness and joy. All right. So let's get your actual situation. So we have the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, so you could be single, some of you. 
Again, knowing your value, your worth kind of energy, being abundant, can take care of yourself. You have everything you need. You don't need every single person around you because you see here, she's got six on this side, but now she's only got three on this side. So it's like you're downsizing big time here. This is, I said three, three. So you're downsizing big time. It's like, I'm good. I don't need all these over here. I'm just looking at these three over here that I truly need. Again, rid of the rest, it's not serving you. Yeah, getting rid of the people that were not bringing you happiness and joy with the Nine of Cups energy. Yep. Getting rid of the people not bringing you happiness and joy. Because the Nine of Cups is about wishes and dreams coming true, happiness, joy, fulfillment. So I feel like, yep. <laughs> getting rid, because I got the Nine, Nine. Getting rid of those. Yep. Divine Wheel of Timing here. Doing what's right, right in the middle of your spread. So whatever you're doing is the right thing with the Wheel of Fortune here. It's fate, destiny, divine timing, things getting better, going in the right direction, something meant to be. So whatever you're doing here, I think Spirit wants you to know you're doing the right thing, not to give up. It's like you're cleansing your whole life. People, places, things, just cleansing everything. Six of Cups. So I feel like those that have been faithful to you, lifelong friends, family, um, you know who your lifelong family and friends are, who have been loyal, trustworthy, loving. <coughs> you know who they are with the Six of Cups energy. Yep, Two of Cups. Only being aligned with those who serve your higher purpose, who serve your higher being, who are true to you, think like you, you have the same vision, mindset. That's the Two of Cups unity. Only staying in union with those that you know are your devoted family, friends, co-workers, whatever here. And getting rid of all that other energy. Wow, what Spirit says you're doing the right thing. Things are only going to get better from this point in your life. So let's see what your advice is. The Knight of Cups to keep going forward, doing what you're doing, but doing it out of a state of love and compassion for yourself, for others around you. You know, doing it in a loving energy and not like a harsh, cold energy. Just being upfront and honest. Just keep moving on in that energy. You know, Seven of Pentacles energy here um, is an energy of kind of observing, waiting, investing. Um, kind of energy. So let's see why that is here. Queen of Pentacles. So again, that's your energy. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So knowing your value and your worth. And really looking at that big pentacle that you know you have to give within your heart. Protecting your heart. But only giving that pentacle to the people that you know you can love, trust. Kind of energy. So really looking at that pentacle and knowing, okay, who, picking and choosing who, Am I keeping in my life who, what, where, when, whatever? What am I keeping in my life and what am I not? And then moving forward, but in a loving, compassionate energy. You need to protect yourself, your heart, doing what's best for you, that you are worthy. Yeah, listen to your gut and your intuition kind of energy also. It can be an energy of like not saying much about what you're doing either. So I wouldn't gloat you know, um, go around gloating about what you're doing. Oh yeah, I, you know, I told this person off or I did this, I did that. And, you know, being dramatic about it, then no, don't do that. You're better than that. So again, follow your gut, your intuition, you know, don't talk about it a lot. Just kind of keep it to yourself. Really look at your heart, your pentacle. Who do I really want to invest my heart in my stability in that I could trust? And really looking at that and then moving forward in that loving, compassionate energy. Knowing you're doing what you need to do for your own good. All right. So let's get possible outcome for you. I feel like you're going through a major, like, transformative time. Purging, cleansing. Finally just doing something I felt like you've wanted to do for a very long time. Maybe it's the new year. Page of Pentacles. So... This is communication. It can be an offer or something coming in, uh, something solid and stable. 
some sort of solid, stable communication. Eight of Cups, yeah, and I was feeling that. So this is you walking away from things no longer serving you. So I think you're going to have some really solid conversations with people being in that like stable, grounded place, like not telling them off, not being cold and calculated, just being honest and saying, okay, you know, this is why I need to walk away from this. I'm sorry. That's in that love and compassionate energy. But I know my value and my worth. This is why I need to walk away. And I hope you understand. And best of luck and good luck to you. And I'm moving on. Following your intuition with the moon energy here. Hangman. So I feel like this is just you getting unstuck from people, places, and things that are no longer serving you. I think you've been hung up long enough on all this energy, feeling maybe obligated or like you need, you know, you need to have these people in your life. Not need, but you feel obligated to or whatever. But your advice is no, you don't need to be attached or hung hung by your foot by these people here. You don't. You've gained a new perspective and you know the right thing to do for you is to walk away from things no longer serving you. So let's see what's on. Yeah, <clears throat> king or queen of swords, doesn't matter. Again, using the sword of honesty, cutting away the things no longer serving you. You know, juggling around too much for too long. You could be overwhelmed and balanced, doing way too much for others. Now you've got the king, the queen of swords. So king, queen of swords definitely reminds me, divine energy telling you here, you need to get rid of this imbalanced energy in your life and you need to use this sword and cut away toxic energy here with the devil energy people that really are not for your highest good it's time not to give to that energy anymore with the four of pentacles only invest in you people and places and things that are totally aligned with you and making that conscious choice making that conscious choice with judgment doing the right thing no longer feeling like this about other people and how they may use you or you know, take all your energy or whatever here. No more. You can manifest a whole new world for yourself. So we have the Magician here, which is, I believe, um, Gemini, Virgo, Scorpio, Gemini, Capricorn, uh, King and Queen of Swords here. We do have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn is your energy. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Aries. Um, let's see here. Sagittarius, Cancer, Pisces. Let's see. Uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So those are the other signs I see. If that means anything to you. Taurus. So let's get some closing messages here for you, Taurus. Taurus, Taurus. I do ask Taurus if you knew you like my energy, my style, and how I read. Please do like, share, subscribe, comment. You can check out my channel. If you like what you see, please do uh, subscribe. Hit the bell. You won't miss out. Get about five readings a month. If you do, thank you, thank you. All right. Closing messages for Taurus. And I feel like <clears throat> sorry with all these twos here and two is about unity you're only now going to be into in union with people that are only totally aligned with you that are only uh, you're not going to be around the users or abusers anymore you're getting rid of all that energy only being with people that are aligned with you that you trust that you love that you care for Leap of faith, take a risk and put your heart's true desire into action. Yep, so taking that leap of faith, taking that risk to do this. Taking that risk. And you know you may be jumping into stormy seas here because I do see a little bit of cloudiness there, but don't back down. Stand up for what you believe is right. Exactly. The Spirit saying, do it. Don't back down. And then we do have Mother Earth here. You are called to called upon to help with environmentalism. I don't know if that means anything to anybody, but you are an earth sign. So that makes sense. 
doing what's best for you to keep your stability. We have fertility here. It is the perfect time for you to start new projects, access new ideas, give birth to new conditions. Exactly. New conditions in your life. Bright future. Stop worrying. Everything's going to be fine. Exactly. I think by doing this, it's you're going to go to, to you're going through like a total rebirth and your future your life is going to be better than it was before and whatever path you're doing whatever you're doing here with the steep cleansing is the right path with the wheel right in the middle here for you so okay taurus best of luck to you sending you many light love and blessings as i always say with my channel is to always always shine your light